We review a wide selection of consumer appliances and electronics on our website, with one of those product silos being vacuum cleaners. We've tested 110 vacuum cleaners on our previous 0.8 test bench. That said, over the past few months, we've been hard at work improving our testing methodology to better help you find the best vacuum for your needs. And just last week, we launched Vacuum's Test Bench 1.0. Not only will we be using it to test new vacuums that we purchase, we'll also be retesting all vacuums we previously reviewed according to this new standard over the next few months. Hi, I'm Evan, a writer here at Ratings.com. Our vacuum test bench has been extensively reworked with two main goals. We want to test a wider variety of products, most notably wet, dry shop vacuums, as well as mop vacuum hybrids, and give you a better idea of how a vacuum performs in everyday use. Some of the most notable new tests that we've added include tests for how well a vacuum can clear stains on bare surfaces and how well a wet compatible vacuum can clear puddles of water. We expect hybrid mop vacuums and wet dry shop vacuums to perform especially well in these respective areas. A new cracks test has been added to measure how well a vacuum can clear fine debris and progressively deeper crevices using a purpose-built rig. New tests for measuring both suction power and noise in different configurations and surface types have also been added. We've added a new workshop usage section, which is there to tell you if a vacuum is a good option for cleaning garages or workstations, and encompasses many of the new tests that we've added. A new air quality test section has been added to show you how well a vacuum can seal in fine particles by using a smoke machine. There have been a wide variety of small changes and updates to our existing tests. A new video has been added to the user maintenance section of the review, which is meant to show you how easy it is to clean out a vacuum's brush roll and empty out its dirt compartment. We revised how we display cleaning performance on different surfaces to better illustrate what we consider to be a good or bad result. We've also split the automation section of our test bench in two. One section is dedicated to the hardware limited capabilities of robot vacuums, like the type of mapping or pathing systems they use, or whether or not they have a self-emptying capability. The other section is focused on the features and capabilities of a vacuum's companion app. Does it allow you to schedule cleaning sessions for specific rooms, or allow you to set up no-go zones that a vacuum won't enter? Now, this doesn't cover every change we made to our test bench, so if you'd like to see the full list of updates, you can click on the link to our internal change log. So, what are your thoughts? We're always looking to improve on our testing process, and we'd love to hear any suggestions for changes that you'd like to see in the future.